these two books this one just came in actually you know it's one thing when you go out and you spec on a book that you pay cover price for right or less than cover price and you know you're hoping for that book to 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 make it big right versus going after a book that everybody else is going after and paying out of the wazoo for it maybe sometimes 10 times i mean there's people paying a hundred times the book price on moderns i mean we're talking moderns here it's happening all over the, the place here with um especially in the star wars and uh tmnt world like i mean I, I've said it myself that I, I'm not a, a, a collector of Star Wars or TNMT. I don't know much about that spec, but I do know the world of speculation, and that's a gamble. That's what speculation is, guys. It's a gamble. It's you're trying to guess what the collector is going to want in the future. That's what speculation is, man. When all is said and done, it is going to be the collector that determines the price of what this book truly is. In the beginning, it is the speculator that goes after these books hard. And, um, and, it, and it's all because you think that this is going to be something that people are going to want. Now, if you're going after everything and you're paying... I'm going to go 10 times with book is worth or what you know and, and and that's like within a month or two that's bad spec it's bad spec i mean i've been guilty of it myself don't get me wrong uh like i said i've, I've gotten the fomo myself but just don't do that guys because you do that too many times you're wasting a ton of money a ton and um you're better off like instead of doing that with a whole bunch of books just waiting for everything to die down and pay more for the book that really does make it and that, that, that the collector ends up liking. The collector is the one that ultimately decides the price of the spec. Okay? Hope that makes sense. But how long does that take? Yeah, sometimes it could take decades because it... You know, maybe a writer might take a character and and showcase that character and all of a sudden you like that character. Jason Todd, the Red Hood, right? Um, that's a character that took a long time for him to, you know, get, I'm not going to say get known, but to get liked. A lot of people didn't like Jason Todd. They wanted him dead. Get a ton of fans right now of the Red Hood. Talk about the Red Hood, right? Um, read this book. I haven't been reading the Red Hood, but this freaking book, it reads like a movie, man. It reads like a movie. This is like, I'm reading this thing and I'm like, you know, this is like, it's like watching a movie. I really like this read. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna definitely get the storyline for this. This is the first appearance of Tommy Max. Don't know what this guy's gonna do, but at cover price, actually less than cover, less than cover price. Well, with shipping, it was maybe a little bit more than cover price. Not a bad spec. I got five of these. I don't know that I'm gonna get them slabbed. Um, the character, I thought that guy right there was going to be Tommy Max. That is not Tommy Max. Um, they came out with a really cool variant for this book. and uh, But the variant costs considerably more. Uh, I think it's going for three times the cover price right now. It might be four times the cover price by now. And uh, I think I'm better off with the cover A for now. You know, I'm not going to get too greedy on it. Here's one. That it was just for the cover that I got this. I think I put this on the grill project. Um, but again, less than cover price. I mean, at worst, I mean, I'll, I can probably um, cut my losses with this and, and, and sell them raw. 
okay but uh it's a cool cover and they came out with a virgin cover for a store variant as well but um i'm liking the story you know again kate's kate's is a great writer man he's a great writer um I, I like the fact that um he he um he he's bringing like Thor Thor's great villains to the forefront right now like with the uh, Midgar serpent yeah he kind of like uh, killed her off him off or her or whatever the serpent but um but yeah I'm liking the story I'm really liking the storyline all right. Those are some minor specs, you know. We'll see where Tommy Max goes. Looks like an interesting character. Uh, kind of like, uh, almost like the uh, like a mixture between the Joker and the Riddler in a way, you know. Alright, so here it is, right? So, been getting a lot of books. I've been actually keeping some. Um... But we have to pay for it. We have to pay for all those. All that spec, man. Gotta pay for it. Books like these. Gotta get paid for it. Even though I'm not gonna keep them. I'm gonna sell these. But. Cost money to. Uh, slab them. It's gonna cost me some dough, man. Um. I'm gonna end up slabbing these too. I've got a few of those. Spec on the one in twenty fives. I got like three of them now. And um, first prints, and I actually just got some second prints as well. The last Ronin. I am not gonna go after the one in seventy fives. Thank you variant. Too much FOMO, and it costs way too freaking much. So. Uh, not going after that one, but um, again, uh, we'll see where that goes. So this is going to my comic shop. Uh, 25 books going to them. You know, I want to remind everybody, if you ever see my comic shop on eBay, do not buy them from my comic shop. Because what happens is... You end up paying more for it. Oh, talk about the Red Hood. Uh, I didn't... I wanted to keep this, man. This would have been kept for me, but it's not a 9.8. So, I'm going to sell that. I am going to buy a 9.8. Alright? I want to keep the 9.8 in my collection. And that is uh, something that I'm looking to do. This is uh, one that I really thought hard upon keeping. Rocket Raccoon first. It's a 9.6. It's not It's not easy to get a 9.6 in this book. You know, it's from uh, 1982, man. But um, I decided I have to... I have to uh, I have to sell it because I need the funds. Incredible Hulk 9.0. It was disappointing to get it in that grade. But first Thunderbolts. Uh, oh yeah, of course. This is uh, we have to get rid of these because these are in the project, right? Department of Truth. This is the grayscale, and the Virgin, which is beautiful. And I have a few of those. I'm only sending two for now. Uh, oh yeah, uh, don't pay the ferryman. This will be the second one. This would be the one, the last one for the project, okay? Um, we'll see. And then I should have the first, hopefully, uh, sale for the project. And then we'll find out the, uh, gain loss on that. Secret Wars 8.0. Secret Wars 9.0. All of these are direct, guys. All of these are going to be direct. Predator 9.4. I wanted this in a 9.8. I knew this wasn't a 9.8, though. But uh, came back at 9.4. 
And this is going out to my comic shop to get sold. None of these books are big time fire, all right? Um, I'm not sending any super high value books this time around. I thought about sending a 365 um, newsstand, but I'm going to hold off on it. Spider-Man Noir. Uh, yeah, he's going to get sold. And then this one I thought about maybe keeping. Uh, Tiger Shark, but um, man. A King Shark, what am I saying? Tiger Shark, King Shark. Tiger Shark is Namor. Uh, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Um, that character can probably blow up a little bit. This is one that I thought about keeping also. I'm going to keep one. And I'm going to sell the other. Because I think that that guy is... is is The Black Winter is coming back. I have a few of these covers. Five of these covers in a 9.8. I'm going to get rid of one. And... Another one of these. This is the Greg Horn. See, this is what I'm talking about. Great cover, right? Great cover. But right now, it's not going for much. It's really not going for much. So you could have went out and got a 9.8. That's going to be a loss, more than likely. Um, this book, see, instead of specking on something like that, you spec on something like this. Like, instead of buying, you know... Um, I have a 9.8 on this. Uh, I wanted the, the newsstand in a 9.8, but I don't have the newsstand. If I ever get the newsstand in a 9.8, then I will sell my direct. But um, these books are always sought after, uh, even though there's a ton of them. Um, so I'm going to sell the, the 9.0. I also have a, a couple in uh, 9.4 and a 9.6. Um, Venom number one. This is the second printing. 9.8. Of course, the scan variant. This one should do well. That one should do well. I, um, I looked it up and both of these, the Virgin and the regular one, are doing well. So I'm sending two of each. And these are in the project. This one's limited to 1,000, the Virgin. The other one, I think it's... Uh, 3,000 it might be less I have two 9.6s of this book and I am going to be selling one by the way comics number 26 they have a um, the guy that was trying to sell it for what was it was it like 4,000 or whatever it was he, he put it up for auction so if anybody's interested in comics number 26 the first appearance of the witcher it is up for auction, and the auction will end, I believe, in nine days. Uh, 8.5, the uh, third highest rated, third highest rated. Very hard to get that in a nine point, in, a, in an 8.5, super hard. So um, I'm really interested to see what that's going to uh, end up for a uh, Hoptimus, Hoptimus Prime. I know that you're you were interested in those books, so if you're still listening to this, um, yeah, that uh, I'll put that out for you. Uh, I was watching uh, a Pete, right? And now he's, he's Secret Jedi, but um, I was watching Pete's um, uh, YouTube channel, and man. I mean, you showed some books today, man, that I really, really liked. Um, especially the uh, he he showed a book that was um, something's killing the children, number seven, a one in twenty, that Mr. Ross Ritchie said uh, that was one of the uh, rare rarer books in the regular print runs, right? Um, now I'm saying regular print runs because you know that. Those books have a ton of um, store variants, right? All of those books I'm talking about from issue one all the way up to the current issue. But when on the regular um, runs, uh, that that's a one in 20. 
and that's one of the rarer ones that he mentioned there uh he uh, i'll show it one day but um but yeah man he got a 9.8 you know props man props i would sell it though i would sell it if it was me because um it's it's uh it's going for pretty decent money and uh i don't think that um i would turn that one down at the, the amount of money that it's going for you know i know i'm holding on to all my number ones for now but um i have a set price that i'm willing to uh sell them for and hasn't reached it yet oh by the way um wilbert who won the last giveaway suggested this and um for the next giveaway so i'm going to take them to what he said it was a great idea wilbert has contributed a lot to this channel um and he continues to do so in his win he said he was willing to stay out of the next uh, out of the next one for the blue marble well i don't want you to stay out man if you deserve to win it you win it man i i um i have no problem to giving it to the same uh person i mean i would like to i mean i would like other people to participate and i would like other people to win them you know uh i'd love to see talavera win or uh, martinez you know or uh or the secret jedi you know pete or or dan or um or, or Eugene, I mean, I would love to have you guys, everybody participate, or Sammy, or, or Wayne Wong, you know, I want to have you all participate, but you know what, uh, Rackham also, Rackham, uh, but um, Wilbert gave me a really good idea, so what I'm going to do is, when I put post my video, it's not fair to everybody, because, um, People might be sleeping at that time. You might be in a different time zone. I have a lot of people or a few people. I shouldn't say a lot, man. I'm probably a, a few people that listen that are um, that are overseas, you know. Uh, so I'm going to give you all the chance. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put a question out. You guys can send me the answer, but not post it on the video. Send it to me in my email spec collector at gmail.com and for all the answers um that that you guys send me and send me your um your your youtube handle right uh youtube name and i'm gonna create a name for it and we're gonna have a drawing for it and it'll be the first time ever that i go live i'm not gonna go live for long but i will go live just to pick the winning name right so um and i will go live 24 hours after i post the video and that's the way that we're going to do it all right uh so this way it gives everybody a chance and wilbert you go into it too man you go into it too it is uh definitely my desire to have everybody involved you know even if you already have the book i don't care you know, um, everybody should be entitled to go after it. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to say Dr. Doom. I won't forget you, man. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Doom. Come on. You you know you're going to be in it. Um, all right. Look, guys. I know I forget a lot of people, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm, but um, my comic shop. Do not buy from eBay. You buy it from my comic shop. Same with any other um, store that that sells on eBay too, go to their store, right? And more than likely, you're gonna get it for less in that store than you would, you know, uh, on eBay. You know, and I'm not just saying that for my books because whether you buy my books on eBay or my comic shop, I'm gonna make the same amount of money regardless. It's for me, it's the same. But I've checked some of my books. And I've checked some books that went for a lot and people have bought them on eBay. And I'm like, why would you do that?
you know they they could have saved like um in in some instances uh hundreds of dollars you know uh by by buying it in my comic shop instead of ebay so i i, I want to put that out every time i send something out to my comic shop but anyway guys this is how you pay for the fire because if if you can if if all you do is just purchase and purchase and purchase you have to feed the hobby bro feed it you have to you have to sell stuff so that you can get money back you can put it back into the hobby again and then you keep some of the stuff well at least that's what i do a lot of guys just uh, buy and sell, buy and sell. You know, you see that on on uh, YouTube all the time. They buy constantly and they sell everything. Well, I don't do that. Uh, I will buy and sell. I'm a speculator, but I'm also a collector. Hence, spec collector. My wife was telling me, "Hey man, you sh you get you should have a uh, man, a man, <laughs> a uh, you know my name. You should have a um, uh, a, a phrase, a catchphrase. Like uh, sometimes I, I I I catch myself like telling her, wash your damn hands.' And she's like, "What the heck is that from?" And I go, ah, "It's from a from a YouTuber. I love that phrase." But um, I don't have a catchphrase. You know what the catchphrase for me is going to be for you guys? Stop spending so much money on freaking Star Wars and TMNT and spending freaking hundreds of dollars on, um, on spec that you don't even know that is going to hit only because what? Because they're going to appear on a freaking show? Come on, dudes. Whatever, dude. All right? No, don't do it. Don't do it. That's my catchphrase. Um, you know, talk about that with characters on um, on shows, right? Everybody's talking about Rosario Dawson being on. It's like she's some big character. Yeah, she's she's a good actress. Is she that great? She's not that great of an actress, man. I mean, you know, she's she's good. She's good. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, um, no, man. I don't. I I just don't get it. Um, Aranya. Aranya is going to be played by um, same. I think it's the same girl that played uh, uh, Psylocke, right? Well, what did that do for Psylocke? What did that do for Psylocke in the movies? You know, just because somebody's going to be in a movie, the truth is, I mean, just because someone's going to be in a movie doesn't mean that that movie is going to make that character uh, pop. Doesn't mean that. It's very rare when a character pops, even when they're in movies. You know, the elementals that were in Spider-Man, what happened to them? People were going after the elementals. Nothing. Absolutely zero. Nothing. Zilch. Right, um, there's so many, so many uh, examples, man. But um, yeah, just don't do it. Don't do it. The, the character has to have some type of legs, you know. Uh, has to have a, a a type of unique attraction to the collector. You know, this guy has an attraction to any collector. Anyway, you know why? Because people that are not comic book fans have gone after it all over the world. All over the world, everybody knows uh, Gerald. Geralt. And uh, they're starting to know more of them now, too. You know, there's, there's, there's so many characters that you can spec on without paying a, a ton of money on um, that... Um, that are, are probably great specs. Um, I would be a seller in a lot of these specs. You know, if people are buying these specs, like if I really spec on the, all this Star Wars, I would be selling, guys. I would be selling right now, selling everything. 
maybe keeping a few things but definitely selling and and making making a profit on that you know um all right later dudes i should have some uh some books coming up soon so uh this week hopefully and the um uh, blue marbles i mean i've been waiting on them but maybe i want to say maybe hopefully two weeks two weeks all right bye-bye